Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, so today we're going to test the Draggy here against Barney the Hellcat. Uh, I want to see if the Draggy is as accurate as the stock Hellcat's uh, performance gauge that's built into the car, which is actually very accurate. So I want to see how it compares the results from a Draggy test to the actual Hellcat uh, computer itself. And of course, it's a great excuse to get out there and drive around on such a beautiful day like this. Okay, first, let's hear a cold start. in the Hellcat, in Barney the Hellcat. And it just feels great to be driving this big old, big old muscle car with incredible power just like this. Incredible. Uh, what else can I say? Now, of course, you can't get any of this power to the ground, but that still doesn't make it not any more or less enjoyable. Okay, the long journey to Mexico is almost done. Okay, so we have our draggy module, our GPS little module safely positioned in the car. We connect up the app just like that. We are connected. And just like that, that's how quick this app is. It's ready to go. Also, what's great about Draggy is that it can use the built-in uh, camera that's in your smartphone to record your run with an overlay of the information, the zero to 60 quarter mile and everything else. So that makes it really easy. So I'll just use my handy dandy little mount here. We'll mount this up and we'll be able to see the run. Now, when you're ready to record, you just press this red button and it'll be ready to record. There we go. Okay, then we set up our performance pagers here. We click on the SRT button. And we're gonna leave this in sport. Actually, no, I'm gonna do custom here. I'm gonna put the transmission into track, which it already is, 700 horsepower. Paddle shifts are on, but I'll let the uh, transmission shift itself. Traction is sport, suspension street. That is usually the best setup for a fast zero to 60 time. We'll start the SRT pages and we'll go to timers and we're going to do our little test. We'll start recording. All right, zero to six time. Here we go. Got a little bit of spin there, but it doesn't matter. We're just comparing the times. I know that won't be a really good 0 to 60 time, of course, but the point is, how does the draggy compare to the stock car? 
Okay, you can see the performance pages. We have a 0 to 60 ET of 7.9 seconds. And on Draggy, Okay, so here's the results from the Draggy, and you can see the 0 to 60 mile per hour time is 8 seconds, which is really close to what the computer said, which is 7.9 seconds. Now, of course, Draggy doesn't come with a one foot rollout, and perhaps the performance pages do. That makes a slight difference on the time, but I'd say they're basically dead on, and the Draggy is at least as good as these performance pages with the Hellcat. So I'd say the Draggy passes the test. Okay, there you have it. I think the Draggy performs very well. I'm very happy with the product. Um, it matches the performance pages on the Hellcat really close. And of course it can be used in any car. You don't really need it in the Hellcat because you already have the, uh, the performance meter. But in an old Camaro like I have or any car, a Draggy is a great investment. And for only around $140, you really can't lose. It's very accurate. So if you want to get a Draggy, I have a link below in the description. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Okay, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.